A school board reversed its decision to fire a pair of controversial educators. High school students are planning a walkout in response. Good evening and thank you for choosing NBC 5 News at 6. I'm Grace Smith. And I'm Madison LaBerge in for Anna Weeks tonight. In July, the two women were fired, not for their involvement in the iResolve movement, but for using district equipment for a personal project. Now a student group at Grants Pass High School is organizing a walkout. They and others in the community feel the educators aren't respectful of the LGBTQ plus community. NBC 5's Katie Strite talked with the students who are organizing the walkout and she's live in studio with our top story tonight at 6. Katie. Earlier this year, these students tell me they felt supported by the school board and district for firing educators Rachel Damiano and Katie Medart. But since the board reversed its decision this week, they felt, quote, broken and disgusted. Now the Grants Pass High School Pride Club wants to make sure everyone feels supported within the school community. They felt like they finally had a community. Deanie Boiler is a junior at Grants Pass High School. They really don't feel like they have a voice just because of the area we live in. Evan Tucker is a senior at the school. Both are members of the school's Pride Club. When educators Rachel Damiano and Katie Mendart released their I Resolve Movement videos, the students say it hurt. The I Resolve Movement asks local, state, and federal leaders to adopt several principles and policies, including that there are two anatomical gender presentations male and female. The students tell me when the educators were fired by the district over the summer in a controversial four to three vote, it was like a weight was lifted off of them. It felt like I was walking into a school that supported me. I didn't have to be as afraid anymore. But then this week, the board heard appeals from the two educators. Unlike the first hearing, the session was off limits to the public. In another four to three vote, the board reversed its decision. It felt like the building that we were building just came crashing down. Now the two students are planning to protest the decision by walking out of their classes on Tuesday. They're asking all students to join them and believe many will participate. You can say what you want within your home, but you can't always say what you want in the workplace. And, that, and I think that's where the problem lies. The Grants Pass School District has declined to comment on the decision by the school board, calling it a personnel matter. School board members have also pointed to the federal lawsuit the educators still have against the district and the board members for their no comment. The district has repeatedly said it believes all students belong in Grants Pass School District 7. Boiler and Tucker tell me the walkout will happen Tuesday during fifth period. They ask all supporters to wear purple. We reached out to today to both Damiano and Madart for comments we haven't heard back. Live in studio, Katie Streit, NBC5 News.